What up, players? It's Wallboss Tay up in this mud. Today we finish our State Trooper from Sterland. And here are the paints you're gonna need. Averland Sunset. Doom Bull Brown. I'm not doing these in any particular order. Lead Belcher. Steel Legion Drab. Mornfang Brown. Sorry about the label, that's the color though. Nihilak Oxide, the technical paint that does the uh, corrosion there. Rackheart Flesh. Carrack Stone. Castellan Green. Dawn Stone. And Cadian Flesh Tone. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button and leave me a comment. And we'll see you in the next one. Latest players! Okay, so we're back and we're gonna get finished with our State Trooper from Sterland. So we're gonna start with Averland Sunset. And we're gonna very lightly just touch up the highlighted, or the uh, highest areas of this model's yellow shirt as a highlight. By keeping the paint on the tip of my brush, I'm able to create some very, very nice and easy feather strokes. If you've got the paint on the entirety of your brush, then you're gonna have a little bit of a harder time, so uh, less brush control is, is not good. You want as much control of the paint on your brush as you can. You wanna follow the lines of the model. So here, instead of going with vertical strokes, I'm going with horizontal ones. Nice and easy. Okay, next we're going to go to our Castellan Green to highlight up the green areas. And we're going to start by highlighting across the sleeve. Since that's where the light would be hitting, that's kind of where the highlights would be, you're going to be leaving all that awesome Agrax Earthshade in the folds and underneath. So here when we get to the side, when we get to the side of his arm, we're really just painting the part that would be hit by sunlight and then we're going to be leaving this area underneath the arm shaded. This is also a great way to save time because we're not going all the way around the model. Highlighting is always, I find, a lot easier to do than the base coats. Because you can see where you're going Shows the model coming together. Okay, and then we're going to take some Castellan Green and highlight up the little slashes in the legging. Right here. Okay, now we're going to add some Rackhearth Flesh to the Castellan Green. I think maybe a one-to-one, -one, so 50% Rackhearth, 50% Castellan Green. What we're trying to do is get a, get a color that's not brighter. We're not looking for like a colorful kind of moot green or scarsnick green or any of the goblin style greens. We're looking for kind of a washed out version of Castellan Green and this you're going to be using to paint the extreme highlight lines. 
So wherever you feel like the, the cloth would be stretching the most, generally at the tops, maybe not there, um, at the elbows, I'm just feathering now. This highlight is the second highlight and it's the one that's going to catch the eye the most so you want to make sure that you don't overdo it. With fabric, it's it's kind of a hit or miss depending on what the sculpt of the model looks like. Like you wouldn't paint this the same way you would paint the edge highlight of a piece of Terminator armor. It's a little bit more subdued. And if you get lost or if you feel like you made a mistake, you can just go back over it with a wash of Castellan Green. Just take some water, put it into Castellan Green and wash it over the model. Okay, next you're going to take some straight Castellan Green and we're going to paint it into the slashes in the sleeves, or in the shoulders. So kind of what we did yesterday. For this part I'm bracing my two wrists together because it would be really easy to lose where the um, where the slashes are. You don't want to do that. You don't have to use too much either. I'll show you in just a second a little close-up of what I did. There, with this, when you look around the front, it's not really overstated. Um, these sleeves look like they were not made to be very over, over accentuated with the slashes, but the pattern is there, and it's very obvious that the State Troopers' clothes are supposed to be green and yellow. Steel Legion Drab next, and this is going to go on to the trousers. And in highlighting again, we are going to focus on the point that's the most stretched. So the comically large cod piece, the stretched out leggings where the thighs come out on both sides. We're pointing from top or we're painting from top down since the leggings are making a long line. The knee or the calf I mean behind the knee little hem down here at the bottom and the back the leggings are split with the line down the center so we're getting that and then here this part on the back of the leg right by the buttocks And there's the trousers. Next, I'm going to be taking some Cadian Flesh Tone and mixing it with some Rackarth Flesh. And about 50-50, one part each paint. What this is going to do is create a nice highlight color for the skin. <clears throat> Okay, and you want less, less is more on your paintbrush, just on the tip. So I'm going to start at the toes and work my way in. Go on the side of the foot, paint the heel coming down. What you're doing when you highlight with this washed out color is you're creating the effect of 
a pale skin, maybe frostbitten or, or sickly. If uh, I wanted someone nice and healthy, I might have started with Cadian Flesh Tone before going immediately to this uh, highlight. But that's okay, that's kind of what we want. We want our Sterlenders to look a little bit a little bit sickly and all that good stuff. Finally, we're going to hit the head. Start with the neck back there. Hit the nose. The cheekbones. And if you want, though you don't have to, the bottom lip. Okay. The guy is looking really cool now, so we are going to add a little bit of wood grain to his weapon. So we're going to use Steel Legion Trap again. And we're going to just drag it along in a random kind of pattern. Straight lines. Uh, you want it on the tip of your brush, so wipe out most of the, most of the paint. You don't want it to cover the wood haft, but you want it to look like a nice, easy wood grain. Carrick Stone. Is the second top highlight for the wood grain. What I'm doing with this is I'm painting within the Steel Legion drab. So don't create any new lines of wood grain, just try to find the Steel Legion drab lines you made and paint within that. And there you go, quick, easy wood grain. So now we're going to go to the verdigris, and for this we're going to be using our technical paint, Nihilac Oxide. And what we're going to do is get a little bit of that on our brush, just the tip of the paintbrush, and we're going to paint um, around the armor. Now we're going to follow the lines. Down at the bottom. I'm also going to paint a little bit into the weapon head of the halberd and any other metal pieces that you have. All right, we're also gonna go with a little bit of a rust effect. Now you can either use Rizza Rust, which is the technical rust paint. Totally fine if you wanna do that. But um, I'm gonna go with something a little bit more traditional. So I'm gonna take my Mornfang Brown, and I'm going to stipple it over the blade. What stippling is, is I take a brush that is kind of old and worn out, or you can use a specific stippling brush, Brush off most of the color so that you don't have too much of it, and then just kind of stipple it across the, the metallic piece like that. You do not want to see breast strokes, you just kind of want to see it dusted. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is take a orangey or more 
reddish orange paint, in this case Doom Bowl Brown. And we're going to do the same thing. Going to stipple the color across the blade. So we're really showing that our, our guy here is a poor country boy. The last color we're going to use is Fire Dragon Bright. Again, stippling across the blade. Actually, this is not that bright. I need a brighter orange. See, the old blazing orange is perfect for this, but I don't really have anything similar in this case. Oh, that's fine. This is almost similar to the Rizzo Rust color. Right, we are going to let that dry for just a second. It's a little bit too too rusty, so we're actually going to um, clean it up a bit. But as for our the soldier here, we're going to take some Dawnstone next. And the Dawnstone is going to be used to highlight his beard. So, going from the edges, and we're highlighting in. Give our guy a little Sean Connery look. Starting from the outer edges, like I said. Just feather it on the way in. Now, I am not going to highlight his mustache, because I kind of want to show the, the darker hair on his mustache. Uh, he's kind of like a salt and peppery kind of guy, rather than a straight gray beard. Okay, next, I'm going to take my Steel Legion Drab, and we're going to highlight up his hat. So we're going to follow the lines of the hat. And again, we're just using very nice, smooth, thin strokes to accentuate where the hat bends, where the fabric is bending the most. or stretched the most. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go do the base work now. I think that's all that I want to do for him. Actually, no, that's not. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to give him some lipstick. So take some Doombo Brown, water it down a lot. And really, you don't need very much of this at all. It's almost like a glaze, and a glaze means um, almost purely water with just a little bit of paint pigment on it. Uh, the danger when doing glazes is that uh, you got to wipe it off or else it's going to get all over the place because of the water. It's going to make it spread on the model. All we're doing is giving him a little bit of a reddish look to his lips. His bottom lip. Okay, and if that's a little bit too red for you, all you have to do is go back to the highlight color that we made with uh, Rackarth Flesh and Talarn, or Cadian Flesh Tone, and just drag it across the center until you've given it about a second to dry. 
So what that does is it keeps the reddish tone like locked in the base of the lip, but then also it, it gives them a very natural looking lip color. Okay, so that should pretty much do it. The blade seems to be just about dry. It's still a little bit shiny. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, paint up the base and then what we'll do is we'll finish up by um, highlighting the blade with a nice metallic color. So stay tuned and um, see you in just one sec. Okay gang, we're just about finished. Um, just to show that our trooper here is not completely ill-equipped for battle, we're going to put some lead belcher onto all of the dangerous parts of his weapon. And again, we're going to try to do a little bit of a stippling effect. So we don't want to ruin too much of the rust that we did. Uh, we're just showing that the metal is breaking through in certain areas. So like the blade, pointy part at the end, and there you have it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, a really quick series, just two parts, because the uh, state troopers are some of the most numerous models you'll have to field, and if you're going into battle for Sterland, uh, you're going to be at a little bit of a disadvantage because they are not as well equipped as the rest of the provinces. This doesn't affect them in-game, which I think is great. They don't have any special rules that differentiate them, but it does uh, allow you to have some creative freedom with how you paint their gear and their uniforms. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one.